Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 64 and chapter 2. In this one, it looks like a little bit difficult because this is two body problems. They tell us there is a ball is dropped from the top of a 15 meter high position. In this one, we see this is a, the first object. Okay, uh, The second object, it is just the initial velocity is zero, free for body. The initial position is 15 meter. At the same time, a uh, carefully uh, another object is uh, up through, right? Up through, through the straight forward from the bottom of the cliff at a speed 24 meter per second. So there we have the first object one, and it is up through. So the initial velocity is 24 meter per second, and the position is zero. We choose this bottom of this of the cliff as the reference point and we also choose up as a positive direction when we choose up as a positive direction in this one for both the free fall body and up through motion the acceleration due to gravity always pointing down is in, not, the magnitude is 9.8 meter per second square there we must take care about this negative side to us the duration about acceleration. In this one, ask you how far above the base of the cliffs does this happen. That means this first object moves there, the second object moves there, they meet each other. When they meet each other, that means their position are same. Do you agree? Yes. Their position are same. So we want to find the position when they meet the y1 or y2, right? So in this one, we can write the equations about the position with the time t. We can see this is the first one, y1 uh, equal to y initial position plus the initial velocity times t plus one half a t squared. This is the for first for second object and the initial position y0 2 and v0 t and plus one half a t squared. Square at zero when object a and when object one and object two will meet together, that means the y1 equal to y2. Do you agree? Yes, then we input the lower quantities. We find the initial position for object one is zero, initial position for object two is 50 meter, and y1 must equal to y2. So that means we can get this side, uh, this term equal to this term. Agree. So this term equals to this term, there one half gt squared can be dropped out, cancelled, is cancelled. So we get the v0t equal to the 50. So then t equal to 2.1 second. In this one, we find the time at the, they meet, the time they meet. Now the next thing, how can we find the position y1 or y2? Then we can see in the equation y1 or y2, Y1, so we can see it is V01T minus one half GT squared. So then we input the T, we input the G, and we input the V01, we get it's 29 meter. Thank you.